Shalom and greetings in the name of Yeshua. This time I felt led to bring to you a message on the mark of the beast, what it is and what it is not. So we want to take a look at this because there's a lot of things that are being said about smart cities, tracking with uh, cameras and that sort of thing. So we take a look at security cameras that track your face, facial recognition, and that sort of thing. Is that the mark of the beast? Well, let's take a look. Revelation 13, 17 says, And no one can buy or sell unless he has the mark, either the name of the beast or the number of his name. So here we see that the name and the mark are intertwined. So, Let's see more about the marks, shall we? Revelation 14.9 says, And another angel, a third one, followed him, saying in a loud voice, If anyone worships the beast and his image, and receives the mark on his forehead or on his hand, so it's something that goes on or in the forehead or the hand, and we'll jump down to Revelation 14, 11 now. The smoke of their torment goes up forever and ever. Those who worship the beast and its image, and those who receive the mark of his name, have no rest day or night. So, once again, we see that the name is intertwined with the mark. Revelation 16, 2 says... So the first angel went and poured out his bowl on the earth, and foul and painful boils came upon the people having the mark of the beast and worshiping his image. So these are plagues that are coming upon the people that have the mark. Revelation 19.20 says, then the beast was captured, and along with him, the false prophet, who had performed the signs before him, by which he deceived those who had received the mark of the beast, as well as those who had worshipped his image. These two were thrown alive into the lake of fire, burning with brimstone. So, we see clearly here, what's going to happen to the people that have the mark of the beast. Now Revelation 24 says, Then I saw thrones and people that sat on them, those whom had authority to judge was given. And I saw the souls of those who had been beheaded because of their testimony for Yeshua and because of their faith, because of the word of God. They had not worshipped the beast or his image, nor had received the mark on their forehead or on their hand. And they came to life and reigned with the Messiah for a thousand years. So this is an object. Could be a printable, scannable tattoo. Could be an invisible tattoo. Could be a RFID chip. It could be, like I say, some sort of scan code. But nevertheless, we have that technology that is here now that can track people. Facial tracking isn't any good. If I go up in the woods, I can barter with people that don't have that mark. So how can they track and trace you? They can't. So they can't forbid sales. And sales of buying and selling goods is of a corporate mindset. We see big corporation merge with big government. And here's where a lot of people are getting really, really concerned about is because we're having this come together now and have been for the last several years with our rights being infringed. What you can say, what you can't say, what's misinformation and what isn't. It all depends upon who owns and runs the platform. So, 2 Thessalonians 2.4 says, 
He opposes and exalts himself above every so-called God or object of worship, so that he sits in the temple of God, proclaiming himself that he is God. And there lies the big thing that Yeshua had prophesied in Matthew chapter 24, it was in Revelation, and uh, centuries before it was in Daniel. That's what Yeshua was referring to, the abomination of desolation spoken by the prophet Daniel. This is the third temple. This has to happen. There has to be a third temple. So until there's a third temple, I wouldn't be too concerned. I wouldn't be freaking out and losing your minds. So there has to be a third temple. There also has to be a fallen away before the son of perdition that will be revealed. Now, most mainstream Christians and denominations do not believe in this. They believe in a secret rapture. Poof, you're gone. Where'd you go? And nobody knows. That's not what the scripture says. Every eye will see. He's going to gather his people together with him, for him, and to defeat evil. And so these are things that we need to look at. Third temple prophecy right here before the mark of the beast can be implemented. That's the abomination that is set up is that his image will be worshipped in the temple. He will make himself God. Until these things happen and even when they do, don't lose your minds. Be prepared. Be prepared mentally, physically, spiritually as much as you can. And I just hope and pray that you will consider these things prayerfully. Until next time, Shalom.